Okay, I'm just going to say this. I can't trust Kamala. If uh, the policy policies she stands by were really as great as, uh, well, as most Democrats claim they are, she would have never had to pull a bait-and-switch with Joe Biden. He'd be the one running for president, not her. Truth is, this woman is completely fake. She will do whatever it takes to get you to vote for her. And I guarantee you, a, a leader like that is a leader with absolutely no substance and a leader whose policies are not good. She faked two different accents in two different rallies. And you know, the funny thing about that is, well, the funny thing about it is kind of the fact that she's treating the accents, well, as kind of a marketing gimmick. She's doing it to seem more relatable to certain minorities. If anything, something that they've been blaming Democrats of doing for years. And, uh, well, to be honest, if I were black or Hispanic or Latin American, I would be pretty pissed at the idea of a political of a politician on either side using my ethnic background as a marketing gimmick and the means to obtain more voters for their campaign. I am not and I've actually heard from people from those ethnic backgrounds who have actually taken an issue with this and don't like it. So yeah, that's something to think about. Another thing to think about is the fact that jo the Joe Biden presidency hasn't... Uh, well, it hasn't been uh, perfect. He's had some screw-ups. And as the vice president, Kamala Harris was right there. She was there, right next to him. She could have said no at any time. She could have sat Joe Biden down and told him no. This is not a good idea, but she did nothing. She kept her mouth shut, and some and something that uh, you might want to think about. You'd think for a politician trying to be the first woman president that she'd be extremely pro-woman. Joe Biden was the president that overturned Roe v. Wade. Look it up if for greater detail as to what that is. But for a candidate that you'd think would be pro-woman, she just sat by. She didn't even object. She just let uh, Joe Biden overturn Roe v. Wade, and did absolutely nothing. So, at the end of the day, I can't trust Kamala, and you shouldn't either. I don't know if every single state in this country has voted, but if you haven't, please, people of America, Make the right choice. Vote for anybody except Kamala.